what is HP introducing this year? HP has just launched a new generation of storage arrays targeting tier zero workloads, and that is why high-end and mid-range storage implementations. It inherited the highly distributed uh, Active Active architecture of 3PAR, but the major change is in the software stack, the new OS, and what it brings to the solution. What is special in this operating system? Well, it's a new architectural approach. The new OS is based on Linux, which is not a surprise nowadays. And the key shift is in detaching the software and hardware, moving most of the storage array functions from the kernel to the user space, making it less dependent on the underlying hardware. It's more modular approach that will help to shorten the development cycle so HP can bring new features faster, also allowing easier access to newer and faster hardware. Also, it can significantly improve stability for such systems, uh, less disruption for software updates when you separate the core and feature upgrades so the customer can enjoy a higher level of reliability. It sounds like it's getting more software-defined, right? Right. Uh, however, software-defined, but hardware-assisted, as the hardware is still very important. Like with 3PAR, it will use ASIC to accelerate certain storage operations, but it will be a new generation of ASIC. You can achieve more with the purpose-built hardware, greater efficiency with no performance compromise. It's essential for all flash solutions where the bottleneck is still in the controllers, not in the actual flash drives. Faster controllers you have, more performance you can extract from your all flash configuration. Obviously, the platform is getting the latest and greatest hardware to support this. Additionally, the new platform will allow data in place upgrades for controllers, similar to what we have in Nimble now. The platform will support two and four controller configuration that will have multiple options for controllers in terms of performance. For example, the largest array configuration will have eight times more physical cores than the smallest, providing substantially more performance than the current 3 part 9450. Also, it will be possible to have up to one terabyte of shared cache per controller. Quite a significant upgrade is coming to the front and the back-end connectivity to ensure balanced performance and avoid bottlenecks. I like this idea with in-place controller upgrades as it helps to protect your investment in the existing flash but upgrade your performance to new levels, the timeless storage array concept. Will it support InfoSight? It's uh, one of the core uh, components of this platform, extending the cloud intelligence story for storage. Actually, HP is introducing a new availability program, 100% uptime guarantee. Not five nines, not six nines, 100%. Even if it's a very strong claim, I think it will be possible to achieve this with the new architecture powered by the cloud intelligence of InfoSight. I'm looking forward to hear more about this program and uh, it will be a very strong selling point. It sounds very promising. What about the transition for the existing 3 part customers? It's a good question. However, there is no simple answer. Every upgrade scenario is different and we will have to look at the workloads first. However, as a general guideline, I would assume that the existing customers of 7000 series of 3PAR looking for more performance and future-proofing will be keen to explore the new platform. The same for 8000, 9000, 20000, but as the current platform is not going away soon, the transition may be slower. Anyway, I will be glad to discuss this with our customers so we can tailor a relevant solution. Please feel free to contact me if you have more questions. Thank you.